I'm Tracy Baxter with today's edition of Record News Watch. He has his supporters, and they turned out to greet him as he headed into court. Washingtonville High School principal Michael Rossi is named in charges and involved in an alleged inappropriate relationship with a 16-year-old student. Late Thursday, students, parents, and colleagues showed their support for Rossi outside New Windsor Town Court. Inside, he pleaded not guilty to charges of sending harassing text messages to the male student. Rossi also faces charges in the town of Cornwall for an alleged sexual advance towards the boy in a parked car. Some of the students who showed up to support Rossi say he helped them turn their lives around. Town of Wallkill police say they've solved a burglary that happened two weeks ago at a residence on Western Avenue in Middletown. 20-year-old Craig McKinney of Middletown now faces three felony charges, burglary, grand larceny, and criminal possession of stolen property. Police say jewelry and electronic equipment were stolen from the house. McKinney is being held on $10,000 bail pending a future court appearance. One of the hotter area political races will be in the spotlight tonight. The Orange County League of Women Voters is sponsoring a debate between incumbent 96th District Republican Assemblywoman Nancy Calhoun and her Democrat challenger Roxanne Donnery. The debate will be held at the Central Valley Elementary School beginning at 7 p.m. And Times Herald record reporter Chris McKenna will serve as moderator. Pre-election campaign disclosure reports filed last week indicate that Donnery is outspending Calhoun by a better than 6 to 1 margin. It'll be a spirited Halloween night as usual in New York's Greenwich Village thanks to the efforts of some very creative artists and volunteers. Last week and as in years past, they all gathered at the Rokeby Farm in the Dutchess County community of Red Hook to uh, rehearse with their creations that will come alive during the 38th annual Village Halloween Parade. The theme is Memento Mori, or Reminders of Death. And the accent this year is on the traditions and beliefs of the people of Haiti, in tribute to the thousands who died in the earthquake earlier this year and whose bodies were never recovered by loved ones. Grant money that uh, helped support the parade dried up this year, but parade production director Gene Fleming said the there was never a doubt that the Halloween yes, night show would well. go on. And it's been a little tougher for you this year, right? I mean, well, like financially, I mean, everybody's hurting. Um, and, you know, as usual, what happens is all the artists come together. Uh, we were saying, oh, we won't have enough money to have as many bands. Well, they all volunteered. We have more bands than ever. Um, more people, I think, partly because people are out of work, more people volunteered to animate the puppets on Halloween night than we've ever had. You can watch that Village Halloween Parade Sunday night at 7 on WPIX-TV and New York One. And a few morning sprinkles didn't stop the ghosts and goblins from taking to the streets of Wurtsboro this morning. Kids from every class at the Emma Chase Elementary School showed off their Halloween costumes during the annual parade through town. The Mamacating Lions Club lends a helping hand, and it's not just the kids who get into the spirit of the occasion. The teachers and administrators are giving their own meaning to the phrase, Casual Friday. And don't be surprised if a few of these little folks show up at your doorstep Sunday night. It's going to be a very chilly night, and it will definitely feel like fall this weekend. Tomorrow will be mostly sunny and cool with the highs only in the mid-50s. Sunday, expect a mix of sun and clouds for all those trick-or-treaters with the high temperatures approaching 60 degrees. Stay on top of all the breaking news by making frequent visits to us here at Record Online. And keep track of all the news by picking up the weekend editions of the Times-Herald Record. For Record News Watch, I'm Tracy Baxter.